going on all my cheese balls my name is Connor but you guys can call me superior bringing you arguably the most depressing gameplay I've ever gotten on Call of Duty Ghost and it is 99 kills with the Remington R5 uh, yeah you heard me right 99 kills now I'm sure half and half of you guys are probably split on what you're thinking and one half is thinking holy cow 90 kills or 99 kills that's a lot of freaking kills and I'm sure the other half of you are thinking 99 kills really he couldn't get one more freaking kill to get a hundred um but yeah i believe me I'm, I'm 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 on the half that's thinking he couldn't get one more kill because you know i've gotten a bunch of 100 kill games and they've all been with the honey badger the ak-12 or some really good weapon like that and um you know i'm not saying the remington r5 is a bad weapon because it's not by any means but you know i just wanted i wanted something different and i felt like this gameplay could have been that if i wasn't the choke master so um, one part of this gameplay that really stuck with me is you'll see it. It's right towards the end. Um, I have 99 kills and I kind of, I'm in like the mid street or whatever you want to call it on Warhawk. And, you know, I'm just walking and then some guy comes out of the post office and he freaking kills me with a noob tube. And, you know, that, that really pushed my buttons and it got me thinking. It got me thinking that Call of Duty Ghost, you know, after I really thought about it, Call of Duty Ghost is pretty much, I'm not going to say the worst Call of Duty, but it's the least fun Call of Duty. Um, so many people, my friends, if I go on my friends list and just scroll down and see what everyone's playing, I bet, and I, I don't bet, I actually counted earlier today, and there were just as many people playing Call of Duty Black Ops 2, or not just Call of Duty Black Ops 2, but any Call of Duty other than Ghost, as there was playing Call of Duty Ghost on my friends list. So, you know, that got me thinking, like, why? What did this game do wrong? You know, this game's only been out for about four or five months now. And, like, what did this game do worse than all the other Call of Duties that made people want to go back and so they didn't even have to put up with this game anymore? And, you know, it really got me thinking. And one of the things that really kind of kind of came into my head first was all the things that they added into this game to kind of make the skill gap in between the best players in Call of Duty and in between the worst players in Call of Duty smaller. So there wasn't really that big of a gap. And, you know, I really noticed that myself, for example, earlier in this gameplay when I was talking about uh, the noob tube that killed me. And there's just certain things like that, like um, the target finder or whatever it's called in this game. If you put that on LMG, it's absolutely beast. Or IEDs, you can just throw them down and it's pretty much a guaranteed killer. Just little things like that. Um, or the noob tube. Uh, that just basically give the below average player this huge advantage um, to have to be kind of be able to kill the better players that completely just dominate them uh, and you without even being that good. So, you know, it's just stuff like that that really turns a lot of people off from Call of Duty, even if they're not the best player, because it is annoying dying from an IED uh, no matter how good you are at the game. So, it just takes the better players, it's easier for them to recognize when they get a BS death than it is for a bad player because they might not know what an IED is and they might think that they just got shot and they just didn't, like, they got shot with an explosive bullet or something. So, um, so you know, it's definitely, it's, I think it's easier for the better players to get mad at a game and to realize when they got cheated out of a kill or a cheated out of a death or something like that than it is for, um, more noobish player to realize when something like that happened to them and i think as we all progress as players a lot of us kind of get to that stage quicker and since call of duty's out been has been out for longer um you know more people are at that point and more people realize when they get cheated out of a kill or something like that so i hope you guys are able to follow that i know i said that in extremely confusing ways it seems like i always say things the most confusing way possible but um, I think the majority of you understood. If not, you can always go back and rewatch it like six times to figure out what Crazy Superior was talking about. But drop a comment down below and let me know why you guys think this game just completely died out. Um, because there's like right now I'm looking at it and there are 114,000 people online on the Xbox 360, which may seem like a lot, but um, in reality, on the past Call of Duty's, there's a, on Black Ops 2 or about this time, there was about 300,000 people online. So. You know, why did it die out? Let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe if you guys are new. It really does help me out. Leave a like if you guys enjoy and have a fantastic day. Right. Yeah.